Oh my god, you guys. iPhone dropped that thread on um YouTube. Oh. Chicken, bacon, mac, and Five. G fifty three sixty nine N forty one G fifty seven N thirty five O sixty seven I twenty six
it's raining again. I knew we'd have another downpour. How come it feels so much later than 1240? It feels like 4 p.m. in the afternoon, you know? Or is it trying to snow? I can't really tell. It almost looks like snow. It's trying to snow or something. Huh. This is today what for else you. Did you offer? Huh? I can't hear you. <laughs> what, what? you. You want me to do what? You slut. No wonder you come around here so often. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Bet you'd like a good fuck, wouldn't you? Yo, Wade probably hasn't had one of those in years. Any takers? <laughs> you fucking bitch! Ow! Here's to Tommy. Oh, may he rest in peace. You know, a special toast deserves something really special. Finish up your food. Has anybody ever told you you're a dangerous woman? I hope that's a good thing. You're a dangerous woman. Here you go. To Tommy. It's good to see you. This was such a good All the deserve some peace and quiet, right?
Maybe it'll be best to have the hose blown away. Then you'd be free from that streak. Yes, you might be injured, but you'd be free. Ten forty two, ten thirty nine, ten thirty seven, G fifty six, B nine, G forty seven, O sixty six, O seventy one. Just 
I have this answering machine. This is a very good manual. All the steps are very clear. You sure you notice the typo? Uh, no. On page 42. Bitte drücken Sie das Aufnahmeknopf drei Sekunden. It should be bitte halten Sie den Aufnahmeknopf. You wrote the German part too? Ambrose can speak seven languages. Seven and a half. I'm teaching myself Mandarin. <laughs> chowder soup that I was eating in that fast speed hyperlapse video. It was a 16 ounce cup, but man, it gave me cramps and I was pooping a lot. And ugh, I won't get that one from Walmart ever again. It was horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed now. Um, I'm getting ready for them for this uh thing to play here um soon here so um yeah so good night everybody mommy you know the rules no scaring me okay and hug and kiss my baby kitty my fur baby again this is what patty kind of looked like Yeah, I really did love her, guys. I loved her like there's no tomorrow. I still do. I loved every inch hood of her. Good night, my sweet baby. I still can't believe that dream I had this morning. It was really depressing, I tell ya. It was like, again, it was like about this... Um, it was like, okay, I was still living at home, but in that um, haunted house home, you know? But then my mom had cancer, and I was like in my teens, like probably 18. My, my dreams are so screwed up. It was like, you know, when I was in high school, I was like living... In the house where I lived with my dad, you know, in the 2010 videos. But I moved in to that house in like 2000 and not 2000, in 1995 or something like that. So my dreams are kind of backwards, I guess. I don't know why. But in this dream, I was like living in that haunted house. And mom got sick when I was in my teens like probably 18 and she died and so I had to re live that <sighs> I had to relive all that and that was really depressing I was like oh she died and 
you know, and I was telling everybody, and and I saw the notice in that um, church flyer or something. But she did die on the same day, like February 15th, you know, which is weird. So she died when I was 18 in my dream instead of 28. And she died the same day, February 15th. So that was... It's like really weird, my dreams. Okay, so I'm gonna hit play all now on this thing and call it a night now. So see you later. Sorry if I bore you. I have my um, scheduled app all ready to go. Alright, you guys, I think I have a plan. You know that Thursdays are um, special sushi day for um, at the market. So those are the day, the only day I'll grab my sushi. The two crispy crab rolls. And I told myself the next time I think something is interesting, like for uh, today's special from the deli or whatever, Look and see it in on the ingredients. If it has chili peppers, do not take. <laughs> oh, and so um, Wednesday, Dad is going to pick me up early at like 10.45-ish because I had the back cracking appointment almost at 11. So we're going to have the shopping day that day. So here is the thing, since it's going to be on a Wednesday, I'm going to grab about four or five TV dinners from Quick Trip. Okay, only stop at Quick Trip and, and get my Tide at Pick and Save. And what else did I say need at Pick and Save? I can't remember. I have to look at my past list, but yeah. Go to Pick and Save, Quick Trip, and, um, did I say where to go to Walgreens? I can't. Oh, well, I'll look at the Kleenexes at, uh, uh, Pick and Save. If they don't have my Kleenexes I want, then I'll go to Walgreens. Because, um, I like these, uh, long boxes. Here, I'll show it to you. I like those long boxes and not the squared because the long has more tissues in it. Okay. And I don't want the lotion in them because I like to dry my glasses off after I wash my glasses. So if I have lotion in the tissue, then... It'd be very, very hard to keep a clean black pair of glasses on me, okay? So, I'm going to keep a lookout for that. So, Walgreens maybe if I don't find my Kleenex boxes that I want there. Okay, so Tide, Kleenex boxes, and that coffee I like. Okay. And, uh... Quick trip, four or, five, four or five TV dinners. And wait until Thursday. Go out Thursday to the market. Get my sushi. Look at the ingredients on the other TV dinners. If chili peppers or, yeah. 
nope okay that will stop me from overspending i think if i have it at like pick and save or walgreens or quick trip and not anywhere else and don't spend too much at that other place then i'd probably be down to like 50 or to, or 80 dollars or something like that so <clears throat> Plus, around March 12th or something, I'll have more money on my uh, food share. So, and never again am I going to get that clam chowder soup at Walmart. Oh, my God. I had to take a gas X. I had eaten, like, two Tums before the gas X, like, about an hour ago, and now I took a gas X. All right, so that's the idea I wanted to share with you. All right, I'm going to um, get going here to bed here. I look like I've been punched with my eyes. I looked in the mirror earlier and I'm like, oh my god, I am tired. Sorry about my boring videos. I'm sorry, but you know, being poor sucks. And when I start um, working, I'm not going to have my phone on me like this or nothing. You know, I only have it on during my break, like when I'm... um reading a kindle book or uh reading a message or something on email or whatever you know or i want to update my journal or something on there and timing myself during break but i'm not gonna film myself during um um break time either or anything not even in my locker because you know I just have a feeling that they'll be like, oh, Nora is videotaping in her locker. That's still invasion of privacy, you know. Something that I did at Goodwill, but you could hardly hear anybody, you know. It was just only me during break anyway at Goodwill, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, um, I just don't want to risk getting in trouble or nothing, so... I'll just read from my book on my phone if I have one downloaded or uh, update my journal or look at email and respond or whatever. You know what I mean. And if they say, oh, will you stop filming me? I'll be like, I'm not filming you. See? I'll go like that. See? I'm reading. You know, because some people are, like, really evil. They're like, oh, Nora's filming me, and then, then you know, you know, this is why I want my job coach with me during breaks, even. I want them with me. So if somebody acts like that, like a stuck-up brat, and does false witness thing about me and stuff, Nora videotaped me during break. I wasn't okay with it. And I'm like, oh, okay, here, look, look at my video gallery, look. Oh, she deleted it. No, I did not. And the job coach would back me up. So that's the other idea, too. So I don't even want to do this background video recorder scheduled app there either because, you know, that would say that I was filming, you know, so I'm not even gonna film during my break and as for the videos of the 12th, you know, like I always film like on January 12th, February 12th, March 12th and whatever. If I work on that day, I will film and put it on my 12th playlist, like I do the 12th playlist, like January, March, April, May, you know, I'll put everything on there. Like, even if it's on the 13th or whatever. But I'm not going to film during work. I don't want to risk it. Okay. All right.
<sighs> you know, I was going to the bathroom and I said, oh shoot, I forgot to say one more thing. So with me just going to Quick Trip and Walgreens and the other market, whatever, whenever I finish eating my Quick Trip meals, I'll go back. And the new one is going to open up down my street on the 7th. So I can go back then or whenever I need to um, get more. So I just wanted to add that in my video for a note to myself too. Again, I kept my headset on and went over to the front counters to wipe them down. A few more minutes go by before there's a beep in the headset again. But when I got to the computer and asked what they wanted, nobody answered. I asked again and still got no response. So I turned around and looked at the cameras behind me that showed live footage of the drive through line. Strangely, the car passed the ordering station and was stopped several feet behind the window I was standing at. I looked closer and could recognize the car as the man from just a few minutes ago. At this point, I was starting to get pretty nervous, so I backed away from the window and stood around the corner. I was the way I was free, so why not? This was in 1990. I was staying in a backpacker's hostel in the far north of Western Australia, in a very small town called, I'm probably going to butcher this, Kununira. It was a small town, but had a fantastic outdoor swimming pool. It was built in a bowl shape, with the surroundings around the pool of mostly grass banking. Used by visitors to picnic and others that had an entrance area that had about 20 or 30 concrete steps, maybe 20 feet wide, that led down to the pool area. It was all fenced off. As I began to fold, I realized all of my undergarments, bras and panties were gone. Another week, I had a male friend over from school, and his tires were slashed during the visit. By the time the first letter arrived, I had already started making plans to move elsewhere. This letter described a love for me that had been going on for years. It noted things that proved whoever had sent this had been watching me, and watching me closely. I was able to arrange for another friend to take over my lease, and I moved in with a separate friend on the other side.